hello welcome back to my channel in this particular video we are going to look at 15 creative side hustles you can do as an african living in africa or well anywhere else okay and the thing with side hustles that there are lots of lots of lots of ideas everyone is sharing everyone is talking about what it is that works for them maybe in their region their place or you know even just the fact that you have heard them over and over again and you have run with some but something i bet you to do is that any of these side hustles any of those 15 that you put to use please make sure you send me an email or a comment below when you use any of them so that i can also tell your story on this channel of course your success story on this channel good thing about side hustles is that is that extra income it's that thing that gives you an extra leverage you know with your income your finance so it's not your main job it's not your nine to five job it's not your main focus right but it's something you do at your leisure at your own time and at any time anyone needs it so side hustles can never never go out of fashion and there are several things to do i can actually give you over 100 of them but i'm just going to give you 15 in this in this video if you're here for the first time and you're wondering what are side hustles like i said side hustles are businesses or jobs that you take on to earn extra income different from your main job i'm going to take you through these first 15 because i think that we are the place where we are all thinking all planning all positioning ourselves to be able to get to what we should do and make sure that we end this year you know banging our finances in a great way and you know we are in the middle of a recession globally and if you live in africa we have always been in a recession we have always been in a recession in my country in nigeria inflation is second to none i mean it's off the hook and what better way than to begin to learn and put to practice all the ideas we have heard about, all the ideas we've thought about, all the ideas we've discussed with friends, begin to implement one of them, two of them maybe, and earn more besides what it is that we are doing full time. Oh yes, it's going to demand us working harder. It's going to demand us, you know, utilizing our hours more. It might also make a demand on us to keep away certain kind of leisure, such of relaxation and putting more hours to make sure that we're able to coordinate everything we have to do. But is it worth it? Totally. And that's why I want to go straight into this creative 15 ideas I have for you. Number one, create a yard sale for your community your friends and your family okay how does this work you may ask many people have lots of clothes shoes items accessories that they have not worn any day in the last one year or in the last six months my husband will always say if you haven't used it in the last six months then you really don't need it okay so if you're also very conversant online you hear a lot of people asking celebrities and people oh i want this can you do a giveaway on your hair of your now your wigs i mean of your outfit of your shoes and some celebrities are stuck at the point where they are like okay and um, how do i even do this okay some also have taken advantage of certain businesses who actually take on this professionally so this resell clothes of celebrities um, after they have worn them once they don't want to wear them anymore so they sell these luxury items for you know of course lower than the fraction so you can actually create this kind of opportunity in your home by creating a once in a month kind of yard sale where you, you bring out the clothes that you're no longer wearing well laundered well ironed well you know packaged and friends and family of course you have to publicize it friends and family and people around you can come neighbors can come and shop at a particular time for a little fraction of the cost of the clothing your clothing can never be, uh, be unlimited right so you can actually graduate to a point where people who can do it for themselves will actually hire you to also sell their own stuff they may not have the space or the boat there to be able to market a yard sale so that is one way you can also um, um, you can actually make money and this doesn't take anything from you you can do it on the weekend you know just as something really fun and it can gravitate into something more social of course more interactive and fun and people will always want to hang out and also shop while they are in your yard sale okay number two point you can become a canva graphic designer by that i mean you can become a graphic designer who can design book covers you know worksheets white sheets 
presentation slides, website design, whatever kind of design, and even short videos by mastering the Canva app. Canva is such a lifesaver, guys. And I don't know if you live in Nigeria like me and you don't use Canva. I think it's pretty the most uh, popular app that we use down here. But if it's not in your country, which popular app do you use to create creative accessories? Let me also know in the comment section. But Canva is such a prayer answered. I'm telling you, and they keep improving every day. The most wow aspect of this thing is that Canva now has an AI input or feature that you can actually create a picture that doesn't exist by just telling it the details of the kind of image you want to create. You heard me right. All you need to do is to type in what you want and Canva will generate that image. So you can actually now create your own illustrations in 3D, in every format you want, in picture quality, and have it original to you. Mm, you heard me. So it is one way you can position yourself as a creator, a design creator, and create armor of graphics, pictures, um, whatever it is for anybody both for people who want book illustrations, those who want book covers, those who just want promotional material, those who want short videos, marketing videos, I mean, name it. I create my online course. If you don't know, I'm a, I'm a Canva girl. I've been using Canva for the last six, seven years, and it has never failed me. I have seen Canva improve, and it's something I think that is a wow industry on its own. You can actually use Canva to specialize in a particular kind of graphic design. So you, you can focus as a book designer, for instance, or you can also you can focus on um, you know social media design. You can focus on YouTube design, thumbnail design, and all of that. Any one you want, you can actually use the Canva app to create a marvel. Okay, and make side money, and this doesn't take so much from you, and you can charge at least. 10,000 naira upwards for each design because that's the average cost of designs here in Nigeria. Okay, so I mean, what have you been waiting for? And that is about $10. Yeah, that's about almost $10 for a design. And that is such a huge money. If you have at least 10 people or five people or even 20 people who you are designing stuff for every month. And that's for individuals. Now, imagine somebody keeps you on a retainer to create carousels for them, to create current designs for their businesses. Just think about it, how much you're going to make different from your main hustle. Number three, this one is so passionate to my heart. And that's because it's not something that has competition at all in Africa. And that is taking care of elderly people. Even my parents need somebody to take care of them. And it's usually something that costs us so much to do year in, year out. I have friends who also have parents, of course, and don't live in the same city with them, who constantly ask me, do you have somebody we can hire to take care of them? A few people are doing a few things, medical outreach and all that to them, but it's not yet structured in Africa. And it's something that I think that if you are somebody who is a retired nurse, you know, a doctor, you know, somebody in the health um, industry, you can absolutely make a whole lot of money taking care of elderly people at your terms. Of course, you need a lot of structure and people trusting you and all of that, but because you're trained for it, it's going to be super easy. It's something that anybody who is doing well here abroad or living at home will pay any amount to make sure that their parents who are aging are properly taken care of. And this one, I think that we need to cash in. To this and it's not just about the money here it's about the fact that you're creating value and that's one the good thing with side hustles as well so they don't think that side hustles are things you do and get away with it taking care of older people need to understand the psychology of, of elderly people of course and also how to price for such care services number four it's, you know, it's amazing how that so sometimes it is a certain class of people who take advantage of certain services. This particular side hustle is a no-brainer, yet it's not so known or it's not so done, you know, in this region. And that is being a personal shopper. A lot of people, you know, by their jobs or by the things they do, are always traveling in and out of their country. And they have, they, they take along luggages and pay, sometimes pay much more just doing their personal thing. But you have not realized that you can actually be a personal shopper for anybody who wants to buy certain things that may not be found in your home country that you can easily shop from anywhere you're traveling to back for that person and would make a commission on top and become a go-to person for people in around that person whenever they want certain things 
things like that you know a good example are designer bags shoes you know certain things also people also shop on amazon and the rest and they can't or they don't know how to, they can't figure out how to send it to where they live or some people in africa you know whose addresses are not so regular that that, that thing that maybe delivery guys may not be able to find where they are can actually trust somebody who can help them purchase these things deliver or get it delivered to them outside the country and bring it back home when they are coming to deliver to them so either way personal shopping is something that is such a vibe and is a side hustle you can do at your convenience so people will rely on you to work at your schedule when you're going to travel next or how you're going to do it and then you know wait for you to bring it for them okay this is a very creative way to make extra income without even stressing this point is really amazing and it's not something that is so popular as well which is why the title of this video says creative side hustles right do you know that that same car that you bought and you're driving you don't use it to you know pick other people to make money it's actually a liability it's undergoing wear and tear so okay you don't want to carry people okay so that you don't look like a cabbie or so but you know there's another way you can make money and make this car that actually produce for itself you can actually buy another car from the proceeds of this car how by advertising on your car for businesses now think about it this way yes there are costs you know in the local authorities have a cost they charge for you know for advertising on cars and things like that all you have to do is to register your company make sure that you have the license to advertise on your car and off you go the same way you have billboards you know boards on tall buildings you can actually rent your car especially if you're somebody who is always on the move who also lives in a large populated environment or city then people would always look at a car person that has very colorful write up on it colorful graphics on it and it's going to convert why not people will gladly pay you when they know that this car is for advertising you know i see a lot of those kind of things you know in a, in a small form on tricycles and all that in nigeria but they're doing politics and other people who sell a few other things but you think about you know your own car or cars that you own you know you can sell a space on that car for other people to advertise think about it and it's super super amazing advertising outdoor is not cheap has never been cheap will not be cheap so you know what i mean so even though i don't know how much that can cost but from my idea of billboard and the rest it runs into millions you know for a week two weeks depending on what it is so you can also create uh, a time frame people can pay to have you advertise them for a week you know have their sticker on your car for a month or three months and thereabouts and of course the longer they want it the more they pay mm -hmm. think about it the sixth creative side hustle i think you should take advantage of in 2023 or anytime is transcription yeah transcribing people's videos into text or transcribing from audio to text and i hope you know there are already apps and robots that can help you totally do this but of course you still need to make an input by making sure that because they are not 100 percent correct so you have to make sure that you also listen and go through and kind of edit that video or that script to be sure that it's correct verbatim with what it was already said or from what you watched I, for me i use an app like um, otter.ai 80 percent of the work is always done and then i have to do the editing afterwards so transcription is something that people need for their meetings for interviews people need to produce books and they can write but they can speak after making an outline there are various ways i don't want to tell you how much money i have made helping people develop their books by just interviewing them and transcribing them later on are you thinking what i'm thinking so let's go to number seven this particular one is so dear to my heart because it's a business i have attempted to do in the, back in 2019 2018-19 with a friend but we couldn't move on because you know things didn't work out and I then i have always also thought about doing it because it has to do with logistics what i'm talking about is a moving company so a, a company that helps people move like if i want to move from my house to another apartment that i've gotten the company that takes care of packaging moving loading on and offloading these things and probably arranging them in the new house it's anybody can pay premium for it because people want to move but they're afraid like oh my god how am i going to handle all of the logistics all of the you know bodybuilding tasks 
and it's something that is also not popular in Africa a lot so you can totally think about it I remember when I wanted to start a business I had to go to figure out first of all which station or people can hire can I hire trucks from to negotiate with them and all of that and it's something that I really 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 really, really like till now and you know the thing is you can actually work for people who also are moving offices not just homes people can also move goods right so it just has to do with moving helping people move heavy equipment move to new locations entirely okay it's something that is really really great so you can also put your time in a way that people call you to book for weekend movements and all of those because you have a nine to five or you have a full-time job so you have to also make it work for you um, you know at your convenience and it's something you can start with a group of friends so you don't need to hire people in that sense then when you start making money you guys can keep sharing percentages and you can then hire more people as you go the more tasks or the 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 more uh, complex the movement seems the more people you can bring on board as you go really 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 amazing if you ask me hmm? another great um side hustle idea is to design and sell t-shirts now a lot of people who are, who are like youtubers and the rest have merch so they have a few you know a few people have such merchandise but ordinary people you know you and i watching you know we don't seem to be doing this a lot so we see people go to market and buy stuff where they drew a beyonce or where, where they wrote you know things like orlando and all of those things and it's not typical to your own country we don't see a lot of t-shirts that are indigenous in africa that are they're talking about celebrities that are written you know within the names of our institutions written you know that are actually really fashionable as well in different colors it's human beings that make these shirts that you're buying. You, you get what I mean? And you can actually design and sell them without even creating inventory, right? So there are a few apps that are very good that help you to design your t-shirt on there and sell. But let me even tell you, the side hustle that will work is not even doing it online. It's actually designing it, you know, to going to a printing press, you know, and actually producing samples. Wear them, make your family members wear them. People will ask for their, their own in different colors. You start from there until you start making mass production of them and it becomes your label, your own label, guys. And these things you have to do at your convenience. So even when, even in that you're 95, you can rock some of your customized t-shirts to work and your colleagues will also buy. They will also buy and get other people to buy. Especially when you have wordings of them that are really creative, inspirational, talk about people who are mentors or role models of, you know, especially for Africans, you're going to sell out. Sell out. And I'm serious. It's something I have personally I've been wanting to do and I have done on a small scale before using my the main code movement I have a main code shirt you know that I have I have about three different samples of them that I sold but I haven't reprinted since then and that was since 2018 okay and it's something I have planned out now I have new designs I want to launch so why not join me let's create fashion let's create brands putting our names and what is there to us on them okay you're a star you don't have to always wear labels with other people's names without anybody wearing yours mm -hmm. good side hustle if you ask me this one is something that even my younger sister will be able to do no i'm not somebody who can you know work with people micromanage things but it's something that will make a lot of money and the good thing is that it's a good thing to start right now because there are always lots of events if you're nigerian like me you know that we love events we love parties we love weddings we love to make it really really huge and that is being a wedding planner and that doesn't even change anything it can be actually any event but wedding is the boss now i know that there are very established names in africa that people always go to but you know what to start off as a small event planner is easier because you can start with people who are around you okay and the good thing is like i said it's a good thing to start now it's easier because vendors are everywhere you can easily find people you need for photography for you know wedding gown all of those things just by scrolling and being familiar with instagram and people who are already doing Doing it you can find a lot more vendors you can book appointments with them you can you know ask them their rates and then compile your own list so that whatever it's um, a prospective client wants you understand 
what they're talking about and of course there are all the different levels of vendors different levels of decorators different levels according to how luxurious people want their weddings to look and the thing on the kind of vendors to get for them to work with so wedding planning is something that is a boss and it's something like i said events are always in the weekend it's something you have to do it just has to do with breadth of brain work networking you know planfulness having integrity you know meeting with people and following up following up following up to make sure that the bride or the groom or the family of the bride and the groom are really happy and they are on the same page with you to bring their dream to fruition okay and on their big day where well, every time you get one one job and the big day has gone, you have pictures to sell that make other people want to say, oh, okay, I also want your company or you to plan my wedding or my event. Okay, yeah. this next hustle is something that is so in demand: video editing as a service. A lot of YouTubers would rather add source video editing to anybody who is an expert and just go ahead with just shooting and filming and, and really. And um, of course, researching and you know deciding on the next thing to film rather than edit. So if you're somebody who understands how to video edit, whether it is long form videos for YouTube or short form videos for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you are in luck because that's something you need to sell as a skill online. A lot of people contact you and then you go ahead to make money. You can always make money from it. And it's something you do in the comfort of your home or on the go. You don't have to break your head about creating these videos because you already know what to do. You know the footage is to catch, you know what to do, you know what to say. Why not? And if you are somebody that understands how to remove background, how to, that's how to use green screen, how to use text, how to use pop-up text, all of those kind of things. And how to also navigate around uh, video editing apps and use great, great effects. What are you waiting for? Why are you even broke? You can make such a fortune, you know, editing videos for people. The, the next one is what I have done for over 13 years. Teach what you know. Teach, teach, teach. It can be subject-based, like academic subject-based, like English, math, physics. It can also be what you know, your expertise, how to be a good salesperson, how to write good, write good copies, how to write, you know, for a living, how to start a blog, whatever it is. Teach what you know. We live in a knowledge economy. We live in such a knowledge economy you don't want to know. The budget for online teaching is off the hook. It runs to billions of dollars yearly. You know something, somebody else wish they knew what you know, and you can help the person for a fee. Teach what you know. Stop being shy about it. Stop feeling like, oh my God, look at all these people. Start from where you are with what you know, with what you are sure of. And there are lots of people who are not at your level yet who will totally pay you to guide them. Okay? Teaching is fun for me, you know, and it can be for you as well. Another great side hustle that everybody sometimes overlook in Africa is monetize your social media platform. You have up to 5,000 people, friends on Facebook, and you have a lot more other people following you. You have up to at least 10,000 people on Instagram. So what are you even waiting for? Monetize your posts. Let people pay you to post their stuff, whether it's their events, their workshop, whatever it is. Put out your fee out there. Let them know how much it is and pay you. Let people pay you to post videos for them, post posters for them, to do carousels for them, whatever it is. But monetize your social media even bios can be monetized i monetized my social media you know years ago and i still make money from it till date every time i monetize it i have never had a time i announce or launch a new prize for my for advertising on my facebook or my instagram that i don't get people to pay never i monetize my whatsapp status it is that lucrative don't sit on this monetize your social media even if you have a couple five thousand people following you monetize it that is know that the spaces where you write stuff other people also want to get your followers to see what they do to know what they are planning so why not you charge them a small fee to advertise for them every day then if they pay you for five days you multiply that by five so fix a fee and tell them for 24 hours and every time it stays there they pay more but of course they post like instagram facebook post they are always going to be there maybe forever but of course you can do on your stories 
uh, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, WhatsApp status. He goes for 24 hours and people can pay you a small fee and they can you see people paying you for multiple days on end. I'm telling you what I make money from as a very, very side hustle. Like I don't even put so much on my mind there, but I get people to pay me all the time. Yeah, on this, you don't sleep on it. You don't sleep on this. Okay, another way you can make money as a side hustle is to create an online course, okay? Teach people what you know in in a proper curriculum based format. So models by models, lesson, lessons by lessons, take them on a journey of transformation, teach them to do something and totally transform how they do it by giving them results through your learning outcomes. An online course is not a course you come and learn information. People can get that on Google or on YouTube, okay? An online course has to be a course that takes people from a point from the pain points they have and show them a solution till they can get the result that they seek. Okay, package that in models. Models must have lessons and that way. So at the end of the course, people can now start their business. Someone can now earn money. Someone can now, you know, it has to be, you know, leading them to a particular tangible result. Okay, learn how to create a tangible online course. If you're interested, let me know in the comment section or send me an email and you'll be part of my online course creation online course it's coming up soon okay and if you're also an editor somebody who has who has an eye for reading and all of that and you have you don't know how to monetize that have a have a whole online course that will help you monetize editing books and proofreading books for writers click in the description and you're going to see the link to join my online course the next way you can make money as a side hustle is to do what what do you want to do write an ebook so all these things are all educational components okay what you know write an ebook write an ebook answering a specific problem give a solution to a specific problem an ebook that doesn't need to be more than maximum 70 pages but i tell people to keep it below 70 pages it's a whole book is your it has an issn number or isbn number and it's something that is properly designed and made to fit the people that you wrote it for don't make it more than 70 pages anything between 12 pages and 30 pages is a sweet spot and let people get the solution they seek immediately they get the ebook okay an ebook is different from having a checklist or you know uh, a template and all of that which can be fewer in page but please whatever it is create what you know into a system that can be a book that people can read and like not get and they run with it and implement and get the result that they seek ebooks are very affordable to create and it doesn't disturb your day job and you're going to make money on the side using platforms like seller to sell and all of those and you're going to be cashing out cashing out and this is something i have also done over a couple of years and it's something i have mastered and i'm telling you from experience okay the final point i guess you see those AI generated art that you have done with Canva and the rest, sell them to hotels and people who are art lovers. So to make sure that you stay afloat in this recession and with all the inflation and the cost of even food stops skyrocketing, school fees, maintenance and all of that being so, so, so difficult. And the, the fact that we need to get a lot of people out of poverty in this year and onwards, you first have to start with your personal finance, your personal income plan. And that's why this video is very, very important. Let's not leave anything on the table. One thing you also have to deal with if you really want to create you know, a side hustle that will prosper is to keep the big ego away. Some people have this idea that, oh, there are certain things they can't do and all of that. Meanwhile, they are broke and they're not afraid to borrow from somebody else who is doing a less job but they are ashamed of doing the less job and they call it a less job for you know for whatever reason that comes to their mind but please this is a good time this video is a reminder that nothing is too small as long as it's giving you legitimate money so let's level up on our income and be the best that we can be like always i'll bring you tips that will help you stay afloat so that you don't get submerged in all of this global buhaha that's happening in our economy uh, across the world it doesn't feel better anywhere else so don't think it's something about your country about you it's about you only when you don't take action and you can always be better because there are so much more people that we are that will not be able to watch this video for instance who you need to help so you need to keep afloat and also help people keep afloat at these seasons and at these times linger okay until i come your way again get ready ask me questions in the comment section anything you want to see on this channel this year also let me know and i'll definitely be doing a video about it okay bye